Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about amazing new V4 changes. Black Swan received pretty significant buffs and also Sparkle received additional buffs. So the biggest change of Black Swan is that her energy was reduced from 130 to 120. This is a very welcome change. I will talk about more in detail later in the video. As for it, to whoever goes for that the stacks will be increased from five to six an a4 ascension trace will have an additional new effect it will also have a 65 percent base chance to apply sacrament on an enemy whenever they join the fight this is quite useful because for black swan outside of her technique it would be very difficult to apply sacrament on enemies right away whenever new ones join the battle thanks to this a4 chain you will always have sacrament on enemies right away to start with which is very nice potentially this could also help out a bit in pure fiction but we will have to see more about it how it goes there now let's talk about the energy reduction because now she has 120 energy cost you will have talks about potentially using the tutorial light con or even energy ropes and whatnot here i have some calcs for different uh, rotations uh, based on different sets thanks to the reddit user zen loss the link of this comment will be provided in the description down below feel free to check it out uh, as you can see on the screen the top rotations are without tutorial or energy regeneration rate rope or even er planner ornaments if you are trying to go three turn ult as you can see you will not be able to achieve it even with 120 cost however if you are using a combination of tutorial plus energy regeneration rate rope or even solo tutorial you would be able to get three turn ults how good how valuable is this actually going to be i'll talk about this a bit more in detail so first of all you have to understand that if you're going tutorial plus er rope you will be losing potentially a lot of attack percentage you will be losing quite a lot of damage the problem i would say is that is it really worth it to force three turn ultimates when four turn Ults and doing more damage might be just straight up better however you do have a good argument potentially with tutorial only while you do keep the attack rope because do remember effect hit rate does convert into damage dealt for black swan you can get in fact 127 energy by using ultimate and triple skill for a three turn ult but the problem here potentially it could be depending on your team do you have enough teammates in the team that are as be positive to accommodate such a play because kafka on her own if you do play with kafka that is will want to spam skill so is your other support slash sustainer sp positive or not this will change quite a lot speaking of sustainers i would also like to mention there are no ho ho calcs in this picture if you do not have tutorial and you're thinking about playing er rope only as you can see you cannot achieve three turn ults so i do not recommend to play er rope only because not only you will be doing less damage but you will be basically doing four turn ults just the same as if you did not have an er rope and even if you do decide to go er rope plus er planner combination it's still not enough personally i would recommend it like this if you are not going for three turn ults i do not recommend tutorial so basically if you are using tutorial on black swan you have to make sure you're actually getting three turns ults off if you're not there is no point in in doing this you're just losing value because you could be using attack ropes and other more damaging stuff instead and do four turn ults just the same now let's also talk about sparkle changes her crit damage scaling from skill has been reduced from 36 percent to 24 percent and the flat crit damage buff increased from 16 percent to 45 percent crit damage this is a very nice change for players who cannot reach above 240 percent crit damage because before 240 percent crit damage you will have more crit damage buff than what you 
would have before. This is basically quote unquote a nerf for players who would go over 240% crit damage, but those players would be dominating, destroying the game anyway. So I don't think it's a big deal, but it is a very nice big change for free to play low spenders because now, for example, with 200% crit damage, instead of 88% crit damage buff, you will be receiving about 93% crit damage buff instead. It is also very nice because now you can also build her much easier towards having speed and not losing the crit damage buffs as much as before. So yeah, there are also some idle on changes. You can read it on the screen. I'm not going to focus too much about that. Overall, these were all the changes of V4. Very surprising changes. I personally didn't expect these changes to happen whatsoever at this point in time, but they're more than welcome. Now, Black Swan will have very consistent four turn ults, which is very nice, very good, and with the possibility of three turn ults with tutorials. And also, I'm very excited for Sparkle change because now she's much more free to play friendly to build. Very nice, very good overall. As for Misha, he didn't really receive any changes, just some rewarding text, whatever, nothing basically, but uh, Misha seems to be all right as a four star character that is. So yeah, guys, uh, I guess that's going to be all for this video. As always, I would like to remind you that I stream every single day on Twitch slash YouTube and of course uh, the YouTube thingy. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more Honky Sterile content. I wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video.